Hi and welcome to another Archimatics video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a few nodes and use them to take an image and turn it into a 3D object. So the main node that we're going to take a look at is called the Image Shaper. This will take an image and turn it into a shape, just like any other 2D shape in Archimatics. But first we need to feed an image into it. So we're going to use the Texture tool and we're going to assign a texture that has an alpha channel because the image shaper uses the alpha channel to trace. Let's take a look, uh, we'll use the AX logo, why not? It's got an alpha channel, uh, it's got a very distinctive outline to it, and let's turn that into a shape by connecting it to the image shaper. And there we have it. So this is a 2D shape that we can use for other 2D shapes uh, for merging or just feed directly into a mesher. Uh, to keep things simple, let's just feed this into an extrude, and there we have it. So the silhouette of the Archimatics logo has been turned into an object, um, and what we can do now with this object is add a material to it. Um, so let's use the material button on the extrude node. And we'll assign the exact same, well, we'll assign a material that uses the exact same texture. So uh, Archimatics has mapped this on using its uh, normal um, mapping strategy. So in this case, if we scale the image, we can find out how it's mapping. So it's mapping on the top, and then uh, it's wrapping around the sides. Uh, but this is not quite what we want. So what we want is just a single mapping uh, straight down that makes this just look like an extruded image, if you will. So let's connect this to the UV projector node. And the UV projector node automatically, when it's assigned, takes the mesh that's being input and figures out, using its boundaries, how to scale and um, shift the texture so that it fits as closely as possible. So what we're left with is an object that looks like it was just extruded from an image. We can still adjust uh, the texture with the uh, texture handle. Uh, I used to snap it back to its original um, scaling. I used the center handle on that plane while holding down the shift key, and that snaps it back. So let's do that again. We'll just hold the shift key down, take the center handle, move a little bit, and it snaps it back. Um, the axis of projection is selected inside the controls. That's different from the transform axis of the object. So here I've switched to the negative Z axis. And we can see that, the again, the, um, the uh, UV projector has assumed you want the bounds of the object in that axis to control the um, shift and scaling. So by just doing the y-axis again we snap it back. And so there you have it. It's just four nodes, uh, well with the material node as well on the extrude, and we go from an image to a 3D object. Thanks for watching.